Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I just want to show you an MJ email, email that I've built and I want to go through section by section so you can see the how exactly how I built it. And after I show you the whole email, I want to test it out in a litmus and show you how it look. So let's get started. Um, here I got a header commented out. Let me uncomment, save and export. So we got a basic trouble viewing this email, viewing browser. I got a section, column, a text, and um, a span, an anchor, and um, that's all I have. Uh, let's go down to the next section. Let me expand it so you can see it. Save, export. So this image, I did it in. Uh, I designed it in Figma and um, then I optimized it using Photoshop and I went in to use Squish It, which uh, squeezes down the file so it could be faster, so it could load up faster. So we have that. Let's go to the next section. Let me uncomment this. Save and export. So we got a banner or just a paragraph with a button. And um, so I got a section column, we got a text. And in this text, I got a paragraph and I've got a button that says uh, shop now. So let's go down and comment this. The next section will be uh, another image and um, a text on the bottom saying ready to elevate your beauty. So in this section, I got a section, a column, an MJ image, which is this one. And I got a text uh, and a span to, um, to change the color of the elevate your beauty part. So we got that. Let's go to the next section. So the next section is the actual uh, where the product comes in. We got an image. We got a section column image, which is this one to the left. I align it to the left. And we got another column that has all the text on this side. So there's two columns in this section. So there's one column and there's two columns. And um, I have different, uh, you know, the caption or like then the title, the description and the CTA button. And all these are going to be the same, but um, let's see, let's just do all three. So we can show you. There we go. We got the shop now button. And it's basically it's all the same. Right here. Moving on to the next section, which is a banner. And an image. Experience beauty unveiled in the section. I have the section the column and a text and an image uh, together. That's why it's stacked. And let's go down to the next section. This one's an uh, image side by side. So it's a three column image. Uh, we got an MJ section. We got a group, which is going to keep these uh, grouped together. And each uh, column is in this group. So each column has an image over right here, uh, one aligned to the left, center, and right. Let's go down to the next section, free trial section. Let's do this. Uh, 
and this section is just simply um, a free trial we got a, a description and a CTA button so the we got MJ section MJ column MJ text and we got a break right here so you can break these up using the same text uh, section and for the button I'm using the MJ button and try a, a free trial so let's go down to the footer now comma this expand it okay undo one by one so we got a the, the logo and the company name the next one is going to be the contact contact the next it would be the address uh, we got the address the next one will be the social icons I'm sorry if you hear uh, an ambulance in the background uh, after this also we got you know all the The social icons there. The next section will be the undescribe, uh, unsubscribe. A text. And usually, when for the unsubscribe, there will be some kind of um, usually like maybe liquid language. Um, then you put something like this. Like this, so because um, it already has the this um, this part uh, automatically. So if somebody um, clicks on unsubscribe, it will go to your email, which is a uh, uh, can spam and GDPR best practices, which you really need. All this that's what the foot is for. That's why everybody has their contact and everybody has their address. And let's go to the last section. Which is the bottom part of the copyright 2024 Oscillant Origins. So we have our, our whole email. Built out. Then you say, what's next? Then you got to test your emails. So what we're going to do in MJ mail, uh, so it converts it into an HTML file. So if you see all this, this is going to be using uh, with your, say, ESP, with your, say, Clavio, MailChimp. And you're going to just copy this. And we're going to go to... I believe it's in it's not this one. We're gonna go to this one to my litmus. And up here, so this is the email section. I believe they updated their their uh website and it's show you this cool information and if uh, you don't have money because it's pretty expensive to buy litmus for a month uh, you can always use the uh, free trial and when you build all your emails you can test all your emails uh, within that seven days which I highly suggest and so um, let's get rid of this one and let's create a new one you're gonna go right here to create from HTML you know, click on blank email, select, and this is where you're gonna paste where we just uh, copied, and this is uh, where it comes out. This is where we have our email, and this is space for your subject line. <clears throat> if you want to put a subject line, or well, you have to, um, you know, you could, you know, think of something 
very catchy and you have a preview text here and um, so we have this in place you can format this you could go up here to the, the gear button format and you can format here like a uh, format document control shift I and let's try that and there we go no um, organizer for you so you have all this which is uh, pretty cool and I'm not sure if you know about litmus you can click on the section it'll go to that section so right here is this uh, image and we have the say the button the button will be right here uh, this image so it's pretty cool uh, if you haven't seen their uh, their website so all right uh, let's go and preview it on top you have these little tabs you get you know their summary builder when you actually build the email uh, then their preview previews and QA and this is your quality assurance and just to check to see if the email is uh, responsive and that it's uh, responsive on all, throughout the whole uh, different ESPs. And this is a proof. Let me just show you. But I have to update it. Previews and q &A tab. So let's press this to save it. Sometimes it takes a while. Um, if it doesn't do the first time, uh, just change whatever say like a zero from a pixel and just put it back and you, you'll be able to save it so it's already saved let's go to previous and uh, dismiss uh, and this is where you're going to see all your esps and see if the your email is responsive and if there's any issues you know we got you know first impressions accessibility and if there's any trouble with the links there will be links right here and i'll show you that right now to this let's show you this so it seems yeah like this one usually gonna have uh issues with the uh, outlook and a lot of people a lot of email developers don't like that but you gotta adapt and figure out ways where you can where you can fix it so we got the gml this is the mobile clients so this is on mobile so you can see how it's responsive. And Litmus is uh, amazing for testing your emails. I suggest um, you try the free trial and test out all your emails. So th this is um, the iPhone. It's responsive. Looks good web-based clients and dark mode it looks pretty good that's why i like njml some people um, don't like it because it's heavy and it'll cut at 102 kilobytes i believe uh so right here um you had the first impressions like i said uh, before and uh it will check your subject line and your preview text to see if you know if it meets the criteria and uh your accessibility if it um if it passes these um the visual impairment filters and on the bottom it will tell you like if uh you know there's an alt do you need maybe ensure image elements have alternate text um so there's 13 you have to that's how you troubleshoot and what's it's missing or maybe to make it more responsive more accessible and faster for people can view it without any issues so you come down here and you can even test out how the screen reader, the NVDA preview. So if you want to uh, take a look at that, we can play it. So that's a little preview of uh, people that are blind um, and they can't uh, see their emails. They can use a screen reader. So you have to be aware of that. And this really helps you uh, figure out, okay, um, maybe I need to add this and like remove certain things. Or uh, usually when you use, uh, I say like alt text, I, I, you can't use all capitals because it will spell out each letter. So it's best to use maybe the text, what is it? Text uh, transformation uppercase. 
and uh, on your styles instead of having uh, all this capital capitalized and it will help the reader but uh, yeah just showing you different how it look without the images because some ESPs uh, remove images automatically so it's important to have your actual content I know some companies use uh, just images so that could be an issue and that's why you have to have uh, your alt text to see um, what the image is so like right here it will say you know um, the image one image two three four and just to talk about the describe it just in one sentence of what it is and I'll tell you about the loading see how fast it is and how fast or how big the the images are and that's where you have to optimize them and so yeah um, that's our email you already know how litmus looks like um, let's go back so we can show you how it'll look in the home page and it will tell you like last updated uh, who created it and um, if you are monitoring your email I'll show you right here but all right um, I hope you like this video if you want to learn more uh, just head on to distant one designs.com I will link it in the description and if you actually want to buy this email template I have my Shopify store which is distant uh, distant one designs uh, hyphen shop dot com and you go down here let me expand this and you go here you can you know view all the products so you can just see it right here so I have two email templates if you want to buy one of them and it's only five bucks and um, let me go in here and just show you there's a little preview of the email you already seen it I have a picture and you just add it um, then it, there's a description right here as it can tell you like the downloads are available once your payment is confirmed if you paid with PayPal or a credit card on Shopify confirmation might take a few minutes after purchasing a digital file you'll see a view your file link which goes to your downloads page here you can download all the files associated with your order and how I did it back in the litmus that's how you're gonna do it uh, once you download uh, this template here uh, let's go back to uh, this so this is the mjml version of the email and you're gonna go to the index and you're gonna copy this just the one that you actually need to copy and how we did it in the litmus and you're gonna paste it here and you're gonna see the preview of your email here so yeah like I said if you like this uh, kind of content uh, subscribe and follow uh, just check the description to see um, what links I have and I can't wait uh, for you to to leave me a comment um, and I do um, give thanks to the people that are subscribing I'm very grateful and blessed that you guys are following me and just uh, supporting me and um, I'm trying to come up with different content you guys uh, want to see and I just want to put my my stuff out there and hope you guys like it all right see you on the next video bye